Hi everybody, I'm Meredith and I'm a star beauty guide here at Limelight by Alcone and I'm here tonight to talk eyes, okay? Um, I am here tonight to talk specifically about shadows. So, I have already um, done my foundation, okay? I have put my eyeliner on. I put my eyeliner, eyeliner gosh I can't talk, on um, before I do my shadows then if I have to touch up after my shadows, I can go back in and do that. I have used the Limelight by Alcone um, Perfect Eyeliner Pen. It's fabulous. It's a liquid liner. I have done that already on my upper lids. Okay. Now we are going to start with... Da, 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 da. This is the Feeling is Neutral. This is our newly formulated shadows. It is... Um, These are all 18. You can see how beautiful they are. Um, these shadows are super pigmented. They're, um, I believe, like 50% pigment. They are creamy. They are paraben-free. They blend like a dream, and these colors are gorgeous. Again, they're neutral colors, but they are um, they are gorgeous. I love them. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, and I am using our brush number seven, okay, um, I am going to do an all over base, um, all over my eyes. So again, I've done my liner. Um, I have prepped my eyes also with, um, some of our waterproof concealer. Okay. Before I put my eyeliner on. So I am going to today do, and you know what, I'll post the numbers for these shadows, but I'm going to do this light pink and I'm going to do it all over. So literally I'm dabbing it in. I'm going to knock it on, um, knock it on my finger, knock it on whatever to get off the excess. Again, these shadows are so pigmented, you don't need much. Okay. So for this, it doesn't kind of really matter. I'm going literally all over my lid up to, um, up to the brow line. And I'm going to do the same for the other. Okay, so literally this step is super easy. You're just getting the shadow on all over your eyes or all over your lids, I should say, not your eyes. And I should point out I have hooded eyes, which sometimes can make shadow application kind of tricky. Okay, so I have all over color. Now we're going to go in with just a color from the crease line down. Okay, and when you have hooded eyes, sometimes that can be a little hard. We're going to define that crease a little bit um, later with our dome brush. We are going to continue to use this brush. I have wiped it off. Okay, if you have another um, brush that you like, you can use one with a little bit um, tighter bristles if you want. This one's going to work just fine for me. Um, so we did the, the light pink all over. Okay, I think today... Um, again, this is a neutral palette. This is good for everyday looks. Um, I think today we are going to use, and I do know this is number 26. Um, it's like a light brown, okay? I actually even use it to contour. Um, that can be another video. Um, so again, I'm just dabbing it in. I don't need much. We're going to tap it. And this, I want to be a little more careful with my shadow placement. I want to place this. Instead of swiping it all over my eye, I want to place it. And again, we're going... Um, from the crease down. So I'm looking in my mirror. That's off to the side. So Okay, and we're going to go back and we're going to define that crease. So it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect right now. Again, this is makeup. It's an art. It's playing. You know, there's no there's no perfect, right? I mean, you want to get your eyes as symmetrical as possible, but are our eyes exactly the same when we look at them? No, they're not. Okay, so we have the pink all over. We have number 26, just um, really from our crease down. Okay, now we're going to switch brushes. Brushes, gosh, I can't talk. We are going to use our Dome Blender, which is brush number 10 from Limelight Balcon. And can you see that? Can you see that it's domed? I'm having a hard time. There we go. Okay. 
it, this brush is perfect for that crease, okay? It literally gets right in there. I love it. So let's do, we're gonna do a little bit darker of a brown um, because we wanna define that crease. So today, let's do this one down in the corner. Same kind of thing. Dip it in, knock off the excess, okay? And all we're gonna do you're going to have your eyes open, you're going to look straight ahead, and you're just going to go like a windshield wiper, back and forth. And I'm, I'm looking off to the side of my mirror a little bit. I'm not going all the way over because I am going to go back in with a dry brush, a dry clean brush, and blend. Okay. Right now we're just getting the pigment on, I would say maybe the outer two-thirds, let's say, right? We're going to repeat that. Tap, tap. We're looking straight ahead. We're going just like a windshield wiper. And this dome brush, again, is perfect. It goes right into the crease. Okay, and if you had to focus more, I'd focus on that outer edge. Okay. So you kind of want to go back and make sure, you know, it looks roughly symmetrical, right? You're going to go, you're going to blend. Um, and I think it looks, it looks pretty symmetrical. Um, then we are going to go in, and I am going to use, this is brush number nine. Okay, and see how it's kind of angled. And I'm gonna go in and I am going to use my third color, or actually fourth color. I'm gonna use this very light, um, it's almost like a white taupey kind of color. Okay, and again, we're gonna tap. And I'm going to start in the inner corner of my eye, and I'm going to go up right underneath the brow bone. This is kind of just highlighting. Okay, and it's going to give us um, just another color to kind of blend with. And my palette closed. Same, same type of thing. Inner corner, and just up. And if you hear my dog barking, it's because he's crazy. My son just came home, so the dog is nice. Now we're gonna go back in with um, just a flat brush. Really, any dry brush will do, and we're gonna blend. And I cannot see great well to blend into my phone, or use my phone to blend, so I'm gonna use, look off to the side into my mirror. And remember, when you're blending, okay, these shadows are super, remember I said they're super creamy, they're super blendable. Remember we didn't go all the way into the corner with that dome blender, we can use this to kind of pull that shadow because it's so creamy and so blendable. Pull it a little more out, pull it a little more down. All right, we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're kind of pulling it more. Um, so you're getting a little bit of that color further in your eye, a little, little bit down on your lid, but we still want that definition of color we don't want to blend so much that you lose, oh gosh, and this light is like crazy washing me out, sorry guys, um, that you lose that definition. So we're just, and really you can't, honestly you can't mess this up, okay? You're just, you're just blending. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, um, so the last thing I would do is um, if you want to do some shadow on that lower lid, you can line your lower lid. Um, and I did not grab a liner brush, but you can use um, a liner brush to, to do that lower lid. I'm gonna go in with this 26, with this um, color that I did on the lower part of my lid, okay? It's that light brown. I'm gonna go in with the, the um, that angled brush. And I'm going to just kind of go underneath. Same thing on this eye, right? Just kind of giving a little bit of color underneath. Okay. Then finally, if I felt like I needed to touch up my liner, which I really don't, I think it looks okay. Um, but now I would go back in and I could touch up um, my eyeliner on my upper lid 
I think it looks okay. I'm going to leave it alone. The last step is to clean up those lines. So you're going to take a concealer brush, okay? You're going to go into your foundation. Again, you don't need much. What you're going to do is you're going to follow along as if you were continuing up, um, following, I guess, the, the line of your, how do I want to say this? Like your low. I'll just do it and you can see what I mean. Following up right along um, from your lower line, your lower uh, lid. That's the word I'm looking for. And you're just kind of using your foundation almost as like an eraser, okay? And it's just kind of cleaning up those edges. So you get a nice, if you had any, um, you know, if you weren't perfect as, hello, none of us really are, right? None of us are perfect. Um, with that shadow application, it's giving you a nice, smooth, straight edge with it. You know, some people will put tape. It's kind of the same thing. So anyhow, there is my finished, I'm going to close my eyes, finished shadow look. Super easy. It's a great everyday look. Um, obviously, if you're doing it at home, it's, it's you know, this video is, you know, I don't know, we're at like 10 minutes or whatever. It's not going to take you that long. It takes me longer because I'm talking through it. Um, but, you know, I can, I can do this in, you know, a couple minutes flat. So super easy, super quick. And, um, oh, we don't want to forget mascara, right? So let's finish it off with mascara. Forgot about that. This is our perfect mascara. Okay. Blind light balcone. You never want to pump your mascara. You want to twist Pumping it um, can actually introduce air and bacteria into your mascara. This is a one-step fiber mascara. Okay, you can see the fibers in that. And I am just going to shimmy this onto my lashes. And I'm just going to do the one eye so you can see the difference that it makes just with one coat. And what I love is it's not clumpy. It's super easy. Like I said, it's one step. Sorry, I can't talk and do my lashes. So let me see. Can you see? Can you see the difference that that makes? It's insane. I love this stuff. Seriously love it. So we're gonna go back in. We're going to squirrel, and we're going to do the other eye. And you can do, again, this is buildable, and I have to look to my mirror, sorry guys. Um, this is buildable, so you can do as many coats as you want with this, as many as you need. You know, for an everyday look, I'd probably do um, two at most. You know, you don't need, you don't need much, and again, just for an everyday look, run into the store, run into the mall, run into school with the kids, you know, whatever. Okay, there we go. So there we have it. We have our quick and easy eyes for an everyday appearance. I hope everybody found this helpful. Um, feel free to subscribe to my channel down below, and I will talk to everyone later. I'm Meredith Zupo, Star Beauty Guide here at Limelight by Alcone. Have a nice night.